sustainable economy. An economic system that meets the needs of its current members without compromising the prospects of future generations. In the debate over our collective future, environmentalists contend that there must be limits on growth. Business counters that growth is necessary for economic well-being. As Albert Einstein said, the significant problems we face cannot be solved at the same level of thinking we were at when we created them. Sometimes a new question is required. The question I don't think really is growth, no growth. The question is, can we follow nature's laws? If we do, then growth is good. Well, then the question is, what do you want to grow? Because in nature, if a tree grows, that's good. If a child grows, that's good. What would good growth look like? Not growth, no growth, but what do you want to grow? We need to move. If you move an inch or if you move a mile, you're moving. If you add this fourth characteristic, as Bill calls it, environmental intelligence, that, you know, you can do it. What if the human footprint was a positive thing instead of a negative thing? So wouldn't it be great if we could design things that actually restored natural systems? And, and then, the, then you'd think of the human footprint as a delightful prospect instead of such a horrifying one. Humankind is facing a deadline. Can we change our industrial world? Can we move fast enough to avoid catastrophe? Will our creativity be equal to the task? This is the story of a revolution. How Bill McDonough and Michael Brongard and the people and companies they work with are building the sustainable economy.